When you think of horror games nowadays, let's say modern time, when you think of horror games, what do you think about? What's the first couple of games that come to your head? I mean, a lot of you are probably going to say Outlast. You're going to probably say Amnesia, which is super old school, but a, a, a classic. But see, I'm thinking more of mascot horror. The only thing that seems to really do well nowadays in horror and going forward is mascot horror. And it all kind of started with Five Nights at Freddy's. Five Nights at Freddy's, what was meant to be like, just maybe just one game, just a last ditch effort to do well, somehow spammed over what, 15 games, 10 games? At least 10 games, that's for sure. Including a movie, loads of books. I mean, it's crazy when you think about how successful FNAF is. I mean, if I, created FNAF like that game to begin with where it was just you know you're in a heart that's it that's where it would have ended with me because I don't have the entrepreneurship to know where to carry it on mascot horror seems to be the one that really really works Five Nights at Freddy's, Hello Neighbor, Baldi's Basics, Bend the Unique Machine, Poppy Playtime. Dare I say it? I'm not going to say it actually. It's a certain one that kind of reminds me of Poppy Playtime, but you know what I'm talking about most likely. I think they've already got four games. I digress. The reason I bring it up is because I wanted to watch some mascot horror VHS, which the more I think about it now is nothing really new on this channel. We've been doing it for a while now, but I've just decided to make this like a unique mascot horror VHS edition. So I thought we'd start off today by watching some Velox. This is called Ignited Salvage FNAF VHS and it's only a 1 minute 42. Most of these videos that we're watching today are very short so the video might be short in itself. But I wanted to give you guys something today. So we're going to watch Ignited Salvage by Velox. And the description says this. Video documentation recorded on 080602 by engineer John Wilson conducting routine maintenance checks on our animatronic salvage. This video is mostly experimentation and just for fun, so no need to dig deep into this one. Just sit back and enjoy. I also know this video is short just because it was a, a fun little project I wanted to put out there while I continue to work on bigger projects in my personal life. I hope you can all understand. We understand, man. It's all good. You know, work at your own pace. Don't overdo yourself. Don't overwork yourself. You're going to burn out and you're going to regret doing it. Trust me, it's not very healthy. It's not good for you. It's not good for you mentally. Take your time, okay? We're, we're, we're always going to be here to support you. Times before it begins to damage the animatronic and decrease right. its value. Begin right. audio prompt in three... Two, one. Right, so you're doing the, the audio prompt like this. That's very Document unique. Begin Don't look away. Three, two, Just do this. One. Look down like th I don't know why. Like in the game, man, it's like you, you do this, right? You're looking at the animatronic like that. And all of a sudden it's... Well, actually, well, it's not that, is it? You go like this, you go... Like, it's so over-exaggerated, but I guess that's what makes the horror, you know, that's what make, creates the suspense. With me, though, I would literally just be like this. I'll be like, okay, document results. No, I'll just do this. I'll just, I'll just... Yeah. I'll probably miss the check, about, like, the, the tick boxes, but it doesn't matter. I'll be alive. Uh-oh. Oh, well. Wait, did you just tase it? Oh, of course you did. Okay. Don't turn around. Oh, my goodness. This video was released to today, by the way, of as of recording this. It's behind you. Uh-oh. Yeah, close that door. I'm sure that 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 little wooden door will stop a, like, 500-pound animatronic. It's trying, it's trying the door handle? That's crazy. You, I was going to say, you do realise you're stuck in there with another one. So, Ignited, is this the, um, like, the Nixon kind of models? Oh, that's going to pounce. Yeah. It's got no arms, man. How did you just get killed by something with no arms? What's it going to do to you? Headbutt you to death? Well, I guess it does. Act. Well, that was Valox, ladies and gentlemen. All people that I watch will be linked in the order that I watch them down below. So be sure to check them out. We're going to move on now to three Poppy Playtime videos. So the first one we're going to be watching is called Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 VHS The Hour of Joy. And this is by Crano. 
the thing about Poppy Playtime is it lends itself so well to VHS. And I think Mob Entertainment saw that themselves because their designs are so creepy. And if you mix it together with analog horror elements, anything can be creepy when put together in like a found footage style. Let's jump into this. This isn't Mob Entertainment, obviously, but they, they themselves have done videos. Okay, cool. Automatically, he reminds me of that um, Back Rooms video by Kane Pixels, which he stopped working on that now, I think, because he's working on the actual movie with A24, and that's going to be absolutely insane. And I think maybe recording... Oh, oh my God! Woo! Imagine that thing coming to life. See, in the in the game, it was really slow and just like almost mechanic robot like, but this gives it fluidity, like it has almost like human tendencies. Oh my goodness! Okay, and this is the um, the mama, right? I haven't played chapter. Is it chapter three? I haven't played chapter three yet. Uh, with, that is that the one with catnap? Um, I wanted to live stream it actually, so maybe I'll do that soon. My goodness. Oh my god, are those like the little mini, mini, what are they called? Huggy Wuggies. What are these? Is this something new? Oh my god. <laughs> he gave them a false sense of security here. Oh my god, look. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. I'm fine. And slap. <laughs> my god goodness it's terrifying this is very well done what the heck is that thing i need to play chapter three it's like three to four hours long i've been told but yeah that's why i want to live stream it so if you guys want to see me live stream this game oh my goodness that is a lot of dead people right there jesus oh my god that's brutal how many people were there? That's a popular place. Yeah, I really want to play this now. Wow. Okay. I'm trying to avoid spoilers, so I'm just going to quickly click off um, the recommended. Now, this one right here is thumbnail material right here. This is what will get people clicking on a video. Golden Diamond, who is the creator of this video, you did a fantastic job with that thumbnail because it invites kind of curiosity. And I think people are like, I don't know, it has that creepy kind of design to it that people will want to see more of. This is by Golden Diamond. It's called Poppy Playtime Catnap Containment Breach Procedure VHS. Let's just jump straight into this. Emergency procedures for breach of containment. Instructional tape, four of seven. The following instructions are in relation to experiment 1188. An itchy ear. Official name, Catnap. I gotta say, Catnap is probably the most, like, out of all of them so far, the creepiest design. Just because of the uncanny smile to it, for sure. Um, okay. In the event that 118 should ever breach its containment cell or its defined boundaries in play care, please take the following actions. So, hang on, you're telling me that this thing was just able to walk around like it? Were all of the, was this part of the attraction that these things kind of were alive and, you know, up and about and moving around? Was that part of the attraction? Or are they possessed by a demonic spirit? And then they weren't meant to kind of be moving around because from from what I can see here, they they kind of do move around a bit. And again, if I ask these questions, it's going to spoil stuff for me. So, what's this? Um, if one one eight is distracted or not currently a threat to you, proceed to the nearest form of communication and report the incident immediately. Immediately. An emergency response unit will arrive to neutralize 1188 and return to its containment cell. Now listen, all you could like, you, like it's a cat. Just get a laser pointer and it will just, just guide it right in, you know? It's all good. If 1188 has spotted you, attempt to find a small crawl space or equivalent that you can seek shelter in. 
Remain still and silent while you wait for 1188 Ooh, to pass you by. Oh, just look at that. Imagine waking up, guys, in the middle of the night, right? You dry, you just had a dr like a kind of semi-bad dream. You wake up, right? And you just see in the corner of your room that. The, the thought of that alone is enough to make me shiver. Oh, here we go. A bit of found footage mixed in. I love it when it does this instructional tapes mixing in. All the analog horror elements that make something good of an analog horror. It's doing well. Uh-oh. Oh my goodness, how big is this thing? Guys, like I said, if you want me to play this, let me know down below. And just one of you comments saying, Baz, play this. We will watch you live stream this. I'll, I'll see if I, I do it. Like, I'll probably end up doing it anyway, but I just want to know how many of you would tune in if I did do that. Uh-oh. Smelly breath. Let me smell your breath. Oh, okay. Nice. Remain still and silent while you wait for 1188 to pass you by. Only leave once the all clear has sounded. Thank you. Your cooperation is vital to the company. What's the time? Playtime Co. There's no need for that, Ryan. That's immature. Stop it. Okay, I like it. Wait, oh, hang on. Who's this? Yes. Right, okay. Fantastic. <laughs> what did, why did it skip to that bit? Brilliant. That's embarrassing. I'm going to move on now, guys. This is the last Poppy Playtime uh, VHS that we're watching. And the, I'll tell you what, this has a lot of potential. I feel like found footage VHS, just found footage, doesn't even have to be VHS, is just a way forward. And it's a good way to advertise certain horror elements of your design and stuff or like it adds a whole other level of horror to something like you know the games you're in control of the games and stuff but the vhs almost gives more of a realistic approach and what you know behind the scenes lore and i think people really like that a lot so this is called what exactly happened in playtime co by Motya games tv so this is the last poppy playtimes video like i said guys all of these people will be linked down below or they will be tagged down below with the video next to them so go check out the videos for yourself watch alongside me you know i should have said this at the start really but uh, hopefully you guys are doing that oh my goodness that's a hairy beast you know, you know, uh, Huggy Wuggy just looks like a Yeti. There was, there was no need. There was literally no need for that. That I literally just pooed a little. I think I just crapped myself. In the evening, an outsider broke into Playtime Co. Got passcards and let Experiment 1170 loose in the laboratory control section. Interesting. Okay, so I'm guessing this is from the game, right? This is like showing the, the player that we play as. Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay, that's definitely not us. Oh, that is horrific. See what I mean? There's so much you can do with it that just makes it more horrific. I don't know how else to ex like explain that or articulate that. 1170 began approaching the scientists and managed to sneak into the main atrium through the ventilation system. Want to just kill everyone? Ah, oh, look! Ah, oh, bit that man's head off. 10:21 p.m. Backup came and the guards surrounded 1170. He was successful in outsmarting all the guards and made his way into the lower floors with other experiments. Dude's wearing high heels. Whoa! I just ah. Oh. Over 12 cameras were broken, but more than 46 victims were counted in the lower floors and atrium. Oh man, this really like just plays into that whole, you're kind of on your own, there's something on the loose, and something's running at you really fast. Oh god, it's horrible. I hate that. Management had to close Playtime Co. for a certain amount of time to tranquilize 1170, um, 1222, and 1244, and troubleshoot. Troubleshoot? Mate, troubleshoot by getting a flamethrower... Right, chopping its head off. Look at it. It's banging its head on the floor. What is that thing? You see that? What was being like slid in there? 
even was? Hang on. Oh, it's like, that's a hand, right? Interesting. Hey, there's another one. What, what, what's this? Oh. <laughs> Imagine he throws the hammer, it hits the guy in the head. He's like, oh, what the hell are you doing? He picks up the nail gun and starts shooting him in the torso. Stop! Stop! I mean, the, the context is just, why is there so much lack of context with, you know what? Forget it. We're moving on. So the last video we're going to be watching, guys, and I'm surprised there hasn't been a lot more of these, is a Bendy and the Ink Machine VHS tape. And this is by Blocko. And it's called The Dancing Demon. And I, I feel like these games, you know, this is similar to Poppy Playtime, that it lends itself well to this kind of interpretation of horror, you know, found footage, analog horror, I think. But then again, obviously this was based in what, the 50s? So I guess it's, it's really hard to do that unless you've got like a, a Super 8 and you're constantly filming like that. Okay, we know what the inspiration for this was, right? Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh, nice. See, this is good. Imagine what you could do with, like, the Bendy and the Ink Machine characters and just, like, to kind of really emphasize their horror with, like, found footage. I just feel like anything works with found footage, like Jurassic Park as well. I know that's just completely a different genre of horror. But, you know, Jurassic Park from the perspective of... of a survivor there or whatever roaming free in the pack that would be really good the smiling demon why is this place even it's behind you isn't it yeah <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. Interesting. That is horrible. Horrible stuff. But like, there's another like a 19 second one here by Blocker. Hang on, let me just have a look. See what this one is. Because I think this is like the only other Bendy and the Ink Machine like found footage VHS I could come across. Or find. <laughs> See, there's a lot of potential there. A lot of potential. That's what I was saying with, like, with Lethal Company as well. I feel like Lethal Company lends itself well to that because, you know, you're going in an unexplored area. There's all these monsters and I know the tightness of like a found footage camera could really like just emphasize the horror there. Anyway, those are the videos today, guys. I hope you did enjoy. Um, I really enjoyed watching these and I think uh, these creators should definitely continue doing what they're doing because they've done a fantastic job here. I'm looking forward to more kind of VHS content from these mascot horrors in the future. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy. Be sure to check out all the creators down below. Like the video, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you enjoyed my reaction, why not leave a like rating and subscribe? This is the majority of my content. Um, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.